to make the model we need to add circle so add the circle and vertex will be 36 because 36 divided by 3 we will get 12 so that's why we have given the 36 words F to fill the gaps and then use the insert operation like this now you need to select the 12 faces you can see these are the 10 faces just 12 faces these are the 12 faces you need to select the faces in this manner and then you need to use the insert operation at there to understand where we need to create the booleans we need to create the booleans in these 10 faces so that's why use the insert operation like this and then you need to add a few loop cuts on the model so just add a few loop cuts and now you need to select the faces in a pattern in which we want to create the boolean so just select the faces press i for the insert operation to add the loop cut at there you need to give the right thickness for the insert operation and same thing you need to repeat with the remain because we can't take the symmetry here so that's why you need to do this manually so just select the faces in the pattern and then use the insert operation like this and then you can delete these faces you can use the shortest path selection to select the faces after that you can dissolve these edges which we have used for the insert operation we don't need this those edges only for the guide then you can use the loop tool here okay now you need to select this edge and then ctrl x to dissolve it so just select this edge corner edge and then ctrl x now you need to create the right topology here core based topology so that's why we need to do little bit work here so that's why just dissolve this edge ctrl x and then add one loop cut here and then select these words right click and then connect vertex path in this way you can create that core based topology do the same step for remain 2 nice and now the next thing we need to select the faces before that we need to select these words right click and then connect vertex path because we want to create that pattern or that create that boolean details so that's why we need to do this so select these faces and then press i for the insert operation so same thing we need to do here also so select the words right click and then connect vertex path create the right topology at there by dissolving the edge and then select these faces and then press i for the insert operation so we can create the boolean at there later on then you need to select this remain faces you can use the shortest path selection and the cross selection and then you need to use the insert operation to add that loop structure so select everything and e to extrude it and move it along the z axis so just extrude it and use the transform orientation to the global and just you need to add the thickness on the model like this after that you need to add the loop cuts like this for the booleans and then select these face loops and then scale them along the z axis to create that harder edge at there later on we will add more loop cuts on the model then you need to add the sub d modifier and now you can see we need to add more loop cuts on the model to maintain its form so that's why you need to add few loop cuts and give the right position to those loop cuts and try to create more details on the model and try to maintain its form so that's why in the subdivision surface modeling you need to add the necessary loop cuts on the model because it is important when we subdivide the, that loop cuts get spread so that's why we need to add the loop cuts to keep them on their place to maintain that form After that you need to select these faces like this with the shortest path selection and then press i for the insert operation so just select these faces and then move it along this axis like this and use the insert operation at there and then you need to add few more loop cuts or you can do this with the insert operation also 
or you can manually add the loop cuts then shade smooth it and we got this kind of form at there that's look good now we need to add more loop cuts at there so just add the loop cuts here to maintain that form and to create that harder edges After that use the loop tool here. So you need to select these faces with the shortest path selection. So just select the remaining faces like this. Press and hold the control key and then select the second point. Next point to select the shortest path. And you can select the faces in this way. Okay then you need to use the insert operation at there. So press I for the insert operation and then use the scale tool and then you need to move it along the z-axis like this. So just move it to create that tapper form and then adjust the scale and make sure individual origin should be on. So here you need to use the edge slide little bit so use that edge slide. and add the loop cuts and now you can see we are getting the right form on the model the next thing we need to select these faces and then use the insert operation like this and now we need to use the weld verb means we need to select the words and we need to weld them like this at the corner because we want to reduce the stopo means that extra edges so that's why we need to weld these words so it is a very good way to remove the unnecessary age loops on the model so you can weld these kind of words like this in this way you can weld the words like this so you need to add the loop cuts like this double tap G for the edge slide and then you need to select the words and then merge at the center or merge at the last and then dissolve the edge loops in this way you can remove the edges which goes across the model and we will get the right topology also so you need to repeat this step with the remains two part and you can see we are getting the right form without destroying that topology so same thing you need to do here use the insert operation and then weld the words so select the words and merge at last and then dissolve these edge loops later on So this one is remain, do the same thing here. Add the loop cuts, weld the three loop cuts together after using the insert operation. So that's why you need to use the small insert operation at there and then merge like this.
and now you can see we are getting the decent form here set the origin to the geometry and take the symmetry along the z axis so we will get the same details at the bottom side and just check uh, anything overlaps or not and now we need to add more details so use the insert operation here and just create a simple details here and here I want to create the small holes so that's why I need to add few loop cuts just scale it down along the x and y axis and add one loop cut here like this and add one center loop cuts and then add more loop cuts on the model to maintain the form then select this face loops use the insert operation and here you can use the right click connect to vertex path to create that chord based topology but we want to delete that so don't do this and now you need to take the symmetry along the z axis so take that symmetry and then select this edge loop right click and then breach edge loop then select this face loop and press I for the insert operation and add more loop cuts on the model and now you can see we are getting the decent form here so now I want to create those small holes so that's why you need to select the faces like this so just select the faces in a proper count and at the proper position We can't take the symmetry here so that's why you need to select this manually so shift select and then select these faces and then you need to press i for the insert operation and then use the loop tool to create a circle and individual origin should be on and then scale it down like this and use the insert operation one more time and extrude inside like this and in this way you can create the small holes just use the insert operation one more time and now that's look good Now you need to select these faces and then you need to use the insert operation. Before that just apply the scale and then use the loop tool and then scale it down little bit and then use the insert operation and then just create a simple holes at there. Just move it little bit down along the z axis and then use the insert operation one more time. So now I want to create the more details from the outer side so that's why you need to select these face loops and then you need to press I for the insert operation like this and give the proper thickness for the insert operation and use one more time the insert operation and then you need to delete the faces. So just delete the faces and then take the symmetry along the z axis. Now you need to select these edge loops top and bottom and then right click and then breach edge loop so you can feel the gap. After that you need to select these face loops and then press I for the insert operation. And now you need to add the more loop cuts at here. So add the center loop cuts like this for all three. And then you need to add necessary loop cuts here to maintain that form. But when we add the loop cuts like this, we destroyed the circular shape. 
so that's why we can use the set flow in some cases set flow doesn't work so in that case we need to weld the words so just add the loop cuts here like this and to maintain that circular form circular shape we can use the set flow if set flow not work then we need to weld the words so select these words and merge at last so we need to weld the words like this to maintain that form circular form and then you can dissolve this edge loop and here we are keeping that triangle and it is a flat surface so we don't need to worry about the triangle so just select the words and then weld them like this so merge at last and same thing you need to repeat here so add the loop cut and then select the words and then press m and merge at last same thing here and then you can dissolve that edge loop so we can maintain the circular form so same thing you need to repeat with the remains too then select everything and take the symmetry along the z axis then you need to select these edge loops and then control x to dissolve them and you can see we are able to maintain that circular form so you can see we are getting the decent model here you can use this kind of models for weapon for vehicle or anything else so now i want to add more details on the model so that's why i will use this kit bash nuts and bolts volume 1 so you can get this kit bash on our gumroad store link is in the description so i will use this kit bash part to fill that model to add more details on it so just select that and then copy here and then adjust the scale just to need to fill this model with the kit bash part Kit bash is a very well way to add more details on the model in a faster way. You can create these kind of models and you can use them in your every modeling process to improve your workflow and to speed up your work. So that's why kit bash are very useful and you will get this kit bash on our Gumroad store. So you can adjust the size here and then you can take the symmetry and just try to add more details on the model and try to make it more decent. Just you need to copy the kit bash part and then you can paste them in your viewport. So in this way you can use the kit bash part to make your model more decent to improve your workflow and to speed up it. So you can see the model looks decent. You can see its topology and in this way we have created this wheel here or you can say anything. But you can see we try to maintain the core based topology we have tried to maintain the good shading on the model so that's why it's looked pretty well decent thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye see you next video take care